Greetings from Kentucky. I wanted to jump on to do my opening of my good e-box for the month of January, I guess? December? It says, Greetings and Happy New Year. I'm thinking this is the December box. Interestingly enough, when I picked up the little card that tells me about the products that are in here, one of them was from Raw Skin Suticles. I had also placed an order from Raw Skin Suticles probably now about six weeks ago, and it was in my list of things that I needed to open. Each product, it says, is a blend of raw oils, raw butters, and triple infused organic herb complexes, holistic topical solutions for your whole family, acne, eczema, psoriasis, dry skin, anti-aging, it's clean cosmetics, body care, sun care, baby care, pet care, first aid, men's care, hair care. At the bottom of the card, it shows the different social media ways to network with them, I imagine, so you can get discount. In the goodie box, you can see that they sent this, Raw Skin Suticles. It looks like there are several samples in here. So I am going to go ahead and open my goodie box and then show you what I got already from Raw Skin Suticles. Most of the goodie box this time was the Raw Skin Suticles, but they did include this Revolution Organics Freedom Gloss for healthy, gorgeous lips, and it is free of synthetic chemicals, parabens, mineral oil, artificial ingredients, petrol, animal testing, this looks like it is in the shade Truth. I am not going to open this because I have way too many lip products. So this one I'm going to pass along to someone else. I have a cheek balm from Revolution. I think it's a cheek and lip and maybe even eye balm. I have it in my travel kit. I got it probably in a goodie box and I really enjoy that a lot. So I'm sure this is a very good product and I'm happy to pass it along to somebody who doesn't have a gazillion lip glosses and who actually uses lip glosses so that it will get used. Okay, the Raw Skin Suticles right here on the label. Before I open it up, I see it has a little motivational slogan. We all seek change, decide to move forward. Kind of nice, something to keep in mind, a little positive advice there. Here is the information, Raw Skin Suticles, about all the products. I always appreciate getting information. And let's see, yes, it has the ingredients, so I will be able to check and make sure that the ingredients are all ingredients that I want to use. The sample sizes are small. Here's the little C serum. That's actually a good amount of serum, though, because a little bit of serum goes a long way. A little bit of eye cream. A little bit of the age scarring. The intense moisture. This is the rosacea anti-red. The cleanse rosacea. And the Deep Cleanse product. Those I will definitely put in my husband's pile, which right now all it has is his Celtic Complexion Cream, his Celtic Complexion Balm, and his Calming Serum. So I'll just move these on to his little shelf in the bathroom. My shelves go on and on and on, and then he has like three products. I think he has a hair product on there as well. Okay, what else did I get from Raw Skin Suticles? And this again is an order I placed. It didn't come with the goodie box, but it was just something that I was interested in. Oh, it looks like I got mainly makeup as opposed to skincare. So the goodie box, I got skincare, and in the one that I ordered, I ordered some makeup to try. So let's see what this looks like. I'm going to start by showing you the bronzer. Look at that. It's almost like a whipped consistency. Looks like the face of the moon. Yeah, it's very whipped. But I had the tiniest dot on my finger, and look at that. But as you might imagine from a cream like that, it will blend. But I would say the tiniest dot of this is going to go a long way long way. That's really rubbed out. So that was the Milk Chocolate Cheek Bronzer in two. And the purple eyeshadow has that same kind of moussey texture. And that's all I put on my finger right there. And there it is. So it's a really kind of interesting, interesting texture. Okay, here is one green. This is green number three. So I barely tapped, and there it is. It's pretty. Pretty, pretty color for spring. These are really nice spring colors. 
And then there is this one, green number six. Some of that's on the lid. Whoa, that's going to be way too much. That looks like something that would make a nice eyeliner. I also got this shade, Pink Rose. This is a cheek pink one. There it is. You can see that kind of texture. Again, I know not to put too much on, so I'm going to put that on. That's going to be too much. It's this stuff, holy cow. You can see it's still on my finger as well. There it is. A little of this goes a long, long way. Really interesting feel, though. Definitely can't wait to play with these. I am not normally one for liquid foundation, so I can't even remember what my thinking was and why I wanted to try it. But I do want to try it. It is a BB cream SPF 20 matte cream. It has antioxidants and vitamin C herb complex, UVA, UVB protection. It is supposed to combat signs of age, as most BB creams would claim to do. Protects against toxins and bacteria and hydrates and evens tone. So let me see what it looks like. It does have this pump. This is number C101. I'm thinking that's my color, probably the palest one available. And that's what it looks like. And on the hand right now, it looks good. I'm not seeing it settling into the lines on my hand in any way. So I'm going to put these products out and try them sooner rather than later, just because they seem really interesting to me. Before I leave the Raw Skin Ceuticals, I want to say I ordered six products. I ordered the foundation, I ordered this cheek bronzer, I ordered the purple cream, I ordered this kind of sagey green cream, and I ordered this pink rose cheek tint. They threw in this dark green color here that I will probably use for a liner, although I can imagine also using it as a base and putting things over it. That is it for my goodie box, which was mostly products from Raw Skin Ceuticals and one product from Revolution, which I will be giving away, but not because Revolution is a bad company. In fact, uh, again, I have a product from Revolution that I've tried before. I would definitely consider Revolution. And I'm really looking forward to trying these products from Raw Skin Ceuticals. They feel very, very odd. They feel different from anything I've tried, with the exception of the gel eyeliner from the All Natural Face, but they're even different in texture from that. They're they're like mousse. They're all like chocolate pudding. They're like the texture of a moussey kind of pudding. Yeah, that's what I would say, but they're super, super, super pigmented, so you just like dab it, and it's like, whoa, lots of color. Should be really interesting to play with. As always, thank you so much for watching. I have got to stop playing. I need to go plan my lecture. And yes, I'll enjoy doing that too. There's something just super, super exciting about the beginning of the semester. As you can see, I need to go for a haircut at some point. Horrible to start the semester with my hair looking all raggy. But, oh well, I'll, I'll get it done. It's on my to-do list. Thanks for watching. Make it a great, great day. Bye.